by fast food franchise. Uh, still, another night I took the night off uh, in between. But Blue's turn was up first, shooting through here, goes through start, chooses to pull down one of their dark and gooey ads, the one that said don't eat donuts. Uh, iffy on that, but okay. I, I didn't really want to pay for it a second time. But what I did do was unfortunately landed on this pizza pavilion. Had to pay 16000 because there's two markets there for it. And that 16000 went into the bank because Red chose to do this. That's connecting up two of their markets. They'll be making more money off of it because now it's a four, uh, four franchise market. And then they'll maybe be able to pull it out to join that one as well. All right, let's go forward with the other companies. For Red's play, they landed on this chicken. Now that's going to cost them twenty-two thousand. That's not that terrible a price, actually. Chicken's very expensive, especially market-wise, uh, for the amount of payoff it gets. They're also going to be able to play a strategy card, and what they're going to be doing is up to five franchises at twice cost. Now, five of their franchises would cost one hundred and sixty thousand at that price to expand. They don't want that, but they definitely want these two. They may aim for something a little more. Maybe head down towards Dallas, try to get that side of things. But we'll see. Probably not going to take five whole ones, though. We'll see what they they purchase and what the effect on chicken is. So I read expanded for a little under a hundred thousand. Uh, added three franchises. That was 96,000. Two to connect up, one to get them a little closer. Anything more than that, well, they're, after the landing, their cash flow is going to be pretty tight to get that additional one, and they couldn't get the fifth one at all. Uh, then, and their card goes here. Um, they only got to play rather than they don't get to draw and play. Uh, then for the chicken player, well, he expanded, and then he moved around through the investment opportunity, expanded again, but then landed on an event card and got one of the more painful ones. This is the one that demolished our two-player game. Each player owning a corporation with three or more markets currently on the board must pay half his or her cash on hand, or $25,000, whichever is largest, larger. Everyone else pays $25,000 flat fee. So what are we looking at here? Who's got big corporations? Blue does not. They're going to pay the $25,000 penalty. Red, well, they have three or more markets on the board, with the Pizza Hut, so they're going to have to pay the higher of the two. Chicken Surprise, same thing, pay the higher of the two. The Ice Cream Player is very, uh, he, he's going to pay 25000 flat out. And then Family Style escapes and only has to pay the 25000 In all cases, except maybe Red, uh, and in fact, with red, I think they're going to get away with the twenty-five thousand because it's actually the more expensive of the two. But in all cases, uh, the twenty-five thousand was kind of the bargain. I'll pay those out, and then we'll move on into the green player. Well, it turned out the two players who got hit by the greater penalty were the red player with Pizza Pavilion, who actually the twenty-five cost more. Uh, than half their money. And the other one was Chicken, who had to pay like 35 to uh, pay off half their money. But then Green goes, and they shoot, and everybody's lost 25000 at least. They shot over, hit Pizza Pavilion's advertising here, got chased over here, and that's huge now. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy-two thousand dollars $72,000. And... Somewhere I have the pile of money. I don't know what all this is. I'm assuming that's red. I pulled 72,000, but that's a big hunk of change at this point in the game. And now red's going to be able to expand another franchise, and they'll pay 16,000 to put that down. And are looking really kind of frightening at this point. I figured out what that pile of money was. It was the ones from over here. Uh, as I was counting things out and trying to take care of stuff while I'm videoing, I kind of made that error. Anyway, we'll go on to the black player, but uh, uh, poor Green, you know, didn't get much to start with. And now they're down to like 220000 and they just haven't done anything. They're just getting hosed. And Red has gotten this huge jump on really everyone at this point. 
no one's in as strong a position. And this is often the case with pizza, is that you can slap enough out early, even in this big number of players, that you can kind of dominate the board and get a it's easier to get lucky, but there's a lot of luck in this game no matter how you cut. Black went around the board, collected their start money, but they drew this card from the event deck. Uh, women enter the workforce in large numbers. Each active corporation picks a market space it currently owns and gets income from the bank for that space as if a player landed there. But it doesn't get to place a new franchise. So everything's going to create some new income. And especially these companies that are kind of doing well, uh, Chicken with Four is going to be pulling 44000 our pizza is up to 10, which is going to be 80,000. Dark and gooey chocolate with two is 32. Some of these are going to produce a decent amount of money. Three on family style, 39. Some of the companies are just not going to get anything out of this. Ice cream, they're going to make $4,000. Ooh, <laughs> not very impressive. And take a look, though, at the dark and gooey with two. 32000 for two franchises. That's huge. Um, it's not that expensive. And it makes a lot of money once it starts getting to some size. We'll see what kind of danger it can provide. Pizza's big bonus is dominating the board. It's like donuts, but it can produce enough damage that it's worth hitting. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Moving to blue now, they moved around uh, the strategy opportunity, played their card expansion opportunity. And that allowed them to add three franchises. They boosted their chocolate way up. They wish they had done this before because six franchises would be pulling them 96000 um, Some of the other companies, Pizza Pavilion, the Chicken, uh, Family Style, well, especially Pizza and Chicken, which were low on cash, have been able to turn around and kind of resuscitate themselves, especially Pizza, $100,000 in their pocket uh, for the success of Pizza and Burger Brothers off that uh, event card. Blue's got an option to go into this Philadelphia market, but they don't have much they can put there. They could try to bone chicken with a, a donut, but they'd rather not do that. Um, even though a donut franchise at 30000 isn't very expensive, it's not cheap. It's not like ice cream. Ice cream at 20000 it seems worth sticking in to cut somebody up. But, you know, chicken might be failing. It's not in great shape. Try, trying to buy markets and see what happens doesn't make a lot of sense if it doesn't help. And he can't buy another corporation because there's people with one each over here on the right-hand side of the board. Yellow got an interesting role. They landed on the ice cream advertisement. They ended up uh, making $2,000 for going around to start. Now they whip around here. They drew a strategy card. They did an investment opportunity building their chicken closer together. And now they slide through, make another $2,000 for start. Uh, sorry, not all the way there. But you can see they got all these opportunities. Now they land on ice cream. Hey, they owe that $4,000. So they got to whip around the board completely for free. They throw the money there. And now ice cream can spend $10,000 to expand out a space, which they'll do. But this is why an ad here, when your market's here, doesn't make a lot of sense. Ice cream doesn't have a lot going for them, though. They'll put the ad somewhere else if they can, but right now, that's the only one they had. And some quick changing of money. Green ended up landing on a family style, allowing them to link up and paying 40,000 essentially over to them uh, to allow it. Meanwhile, Black, the guy who just got the benefit from that landed on chicken and allowed them to fill out. Uh, that was, what, 55000 there. And that uh, linked them up. So now a lot of the companies are beginning to look kind of scary. Um, it's all the mid-range ones. Chicken's the biggest guy out there at 2, 4, 6, 7. That's 77000 2, 4, 6 for family is 78000 But family doesn't have the same growth opportunities that chicken does. And then, uh, well, we got the big chocolate, two, four, six. We've already talked about that at nearly a hundred thousand, and uh, pizzas at a hundred as well. But everybody's able to do a good deal of damage out of those bunches. The only one who's really lacking, ice cream. And, I mean, this is just so puny that it's almost laughable. All right, I'll round another time, I guess. Going around here, blue landed. And was able to expand his chocolate against chicken, 
Red landed over here on Dallas and bought himself a new market. Yellow went, landed on strategy opportunity, drew a card. Didn't like that, to, didn't want to play that one, but he was at four cards, so he had to play one. He played an incite strike over on Pizza Pavilion. Uh, the pizza player decided to pay $50,000. The effect of this would have been yellow, uh, until yellow goes around start again, pizza couldn't collect any income while that was out there, or they had to pay $50,000. At $100,000 of pop for pizzas, they figured it's worth uh, making sure that they collect it if they do. It might have been an iffy, iffy charge there, $50,000 for one round around. If it was a two-player game, there's no way they'd do that. But in a five-player game, there's enough people who might hit it still that eh, he wants the chance at the cash and the extra growth. A couple of kind of non-interesting buzzes. Green went forward and uh, increased their size a little bit. This invest interest rate ri rising would have... Uh, Anybody with a loan would have to pay $20,000 cash immediately. Black landed somewhere they didn't really care about. But then Blue's next turn, nasty, nasty hit here on the advertising. Through investment opportunity, they increase their chocolate so that chicken can't expand in that direction when they get through. Here, they pulled a lot of money, uh, I think 34000 for their total uh, properties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doubled is 16, plus one is 17, $2,000 a piece, 34,000. But they had to pay 6,000 for the ad. But then they hit here, and they're gonna owe 77,000 for those two, four, six, seven uh, chicken franchises. Chicken doesn't have very far to grow. They're gonna pooch out here, but that's still a big hit, a lot of money, and an ability to grow more. Red ended up going around the investment opportunity, connecting up their pizza chain. And now they've got them all connected. That's four different markets with a lot of pieces. Uh, over 100,000 hit for t hitting any of those markets. That's how pizza becomes potent is by covering the board with so much stuff. They also landed on whole donuts and allowed it to expand a little bit. That's so cheap that even though Blue has almost no money, they took their $5,000 and invested 6,000 to push forward a space. Uh, donuts is almost worthless when you tear it up, it's, it, it, and chocolate's got the same problem, where you just can't make a lot of your money back, even if you end up ripping up markets. But, uh, you know, they have a certain growth uh, uh, profile. That's possible. Now, we look at, uh, what's next? Mm -hmm. Yeah, green. Green slammed through, moved their ad by landing here. They made a few bucks, expanded a little bit, but they're just, they're not even able to open up another company as it stands. There's still another company left. There's still a big one left, Steak and Salad. Steak would be enough for Ice Cream to turn around and change this game if they could put it here with just a few pieces. Uh, ice Cream's not enough, but it was stuck in this little corner, which is why they bought it. Let's look at the uh, next one, which is, oh, let's see. Black went, they whipped around, and didn't really do anything. They got an event, another one of those interest rates rise. I'm gonna load this one up. It'll be Blue's turn again. See what happens. 